What's up, everybody? My name is Tommy Griffith. I'm one of the co-founders of ClickMinded. Today, we're going to be talking about how to create an AI blog post service and raise your prices 30%. This is an exact step-by-step -step tutorial on how I create AI blog posts in five minutes or less. Now, if you've been in the content marketing game for any amount of time and you're trying to create stuff that goes viral, stuff that generates links, stuff that people spread via word of mouth, you know more than anyone that finding good writers is incredibly difficult. It's very, very hard, especially these days, to create stuff that goes viral, even when you're creating it manually. The whole act, the whole notion of finding freelance writers, hiring them, testing out the duds, letting people go that aren't great, and then putting them on the topic, putting them on the project, and hoping one of the pieces of content hits is an incredibly difficult and arduous process. On top of that, people have decided to forego it completely and just use AI blog writing tools, and a lot of them are terrible. A lot of them are garbage. There is so much mediocre AI slop out there that it kind of feels like you can't really win. So we think we might have a solution for you here. We've come up with a way to develop long form, high quality AI blog posts. And it might be something that you can offer to your clients or prospective clients as an additional bolt on service to what you're already offering. So I want to show you a couple of examples of what I mean by an AI long form blog post using the click minded blog post generator. So let's jump into this. So the demo site we're going to be using for today is retroaddicts.com. This is our sample demo site we like to use for tutorials. It is a vintage video game console and game website. Uh, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Game Boy, Sega Genesis, all of the classics from your childhood. So imagine this vintage video game e-commerce site has come to us. We are the digital marketing consultant or agency. They're a client or maybe they're a prospective client. And we're planning on creating a long form AI blog posting service for them and increasing our prices, increasing our expected lifetime value of this customer by about 30% or so by offering this service. Okay, so Retro Addicts has come to us and we are their agency of record for maybe SEO, maybe paid ads. Maybe we do some link building for them or we manage their email marketing or their social media. And we say, hey, by the way, we also offer this long form blog posting service. Would you like us to show you what it looks like? I'm gonna take a core competitive keyword that might be in their keyword set and we're going to generate an AI powered long form blog post from it. So I'm in the click minded members area now and if you're a click minded member, you can go over to the create section on the left hand side and click blog post generator. I'm gonna enter the core keyword that I wanna optimize for. I took a look at the search volume and I'm pretty happy with best retro console games. It's a high volume competitive keyword. We wanna make something awesome with it. All I have to do is set my location and my language and click next step. Then I have to enter my customer avatar. You can add up to three. So I am going to input something like um, nostalgic gamers will be my first target audience and maybe a second one might be eBay resellers. This might be two prospective, uh, two prospective customer avatars for the client, retroaddicts.com. And all I have to do from there is click generate blog posts. Then I get a message, great, we're generating your blog post now. In a few minutes, we'll send an email with a link. All right, so that just took a couple of minutes and now our long form AI blog post is done. So before we dig into this in the top, you always have the option to copy a link to your clipboard and share this with other folks. We're gonna go over the remix function in just a little bit. So here it is, our core keyword, the best retro console games. The target audience are nostalgic gamers in the United States looking to rediscover and play the best retro console games, as well as eBay resellers seeking curated knowledge on valuable and popular retro games for effective sourcing and selling. We've listed out some of the organic competitors up here. So we have a Reddit thread. We have a Retro Gaming Essentials post, GamesRadar.com, RetroDodo.com, and a Wired article. And then the differentiator, the things we're going to do for this blog post that make us unique and will uh, give us the ability to outrank the competitors. 
This blog post will uniquely combine a, deep cur a deeply curated and comprehensive list of best retro console games spanning multiple iconic platforms. We list out potential titles and meta descriptions that you can one-click copy to clipboard. Discover the best retro console games for nostalgic gamers, or maybe the top 10 best retro console games every reseller needs. Possible meta descriptions, we can one-click copy to clipboard as well. And then we have the post. This massive, absolutely comprehensive blog post on this topic, it is huge. So quick side quest here. I want to explain why the click-minded blog post generator works so well and how we're able to create such great long form content. It's not a normal AI tool and a brief detour here to explain what's happening I think is valuable. So here's what's happening under the hood when you use the click-minded blog post generator tool. So the tool takes your keyword and the country that you're trying to optimize for. It then uses our SEO research tool to find the pages currently ranking in the top five positions for that keyword in your country. So it goes to Google and it looks for those. It then finds other keywords that those pages are ranking for. So semantically related keywords that those top documents are already ranking for. It then scrapes and analyzes the content for those top five pages looking for different gaps and opportunities. It's looking at the total sum of all the best content that's out there and it looks for gaps and opportunities that you can use. It then builds a content outline based on those gaps and opportunities, and then it writes a comprehensive blog post based on that outline. So all of this is happening on the click-minded blog post generator in one click. We do all the work for you and you get all the credit. This is not the same thing as just asking ChatGPT to write a blog post. We are looking at the market. We're looking at what's currently ranking. We're making an analysis of that. We're identifying gaps and opportunities, and then we're acting on it for you. The blog post generator is a full AI agent that follows the workflow an expert SEO content writer would perform to create content that's specifically designed to rank in search engines. This is not simply asking an LLM to write something for you. It's doing a lot of the work that an intermediate to advanced SEO would be doing on their own time. Now, one thing I want to recommend before we move on to the next topic here is we are so proud of this tool. It is fantastic. The output we're seeing from the blog post generator is incredible. We think this is one of the best AI blog post generators in the market today, but we do not recommend doing this without a human in the loop. This tool gets you very close to the finish line, but it does not get you all the way there. We think this gets you 90 to 95% of the way there for a long form AI blog post, but you do need a human in the loop to curate it, to tweak it, to put your own finishing touches on it, and to finalize the document. Do not use this without a human in the loop, but it will save you an enormous amount of time if an AI long form blog post service is something that you're thinking about adding as one of your services and offerings in your digital marketing agency or consultancy. So let's say we were happy with this post, or maybe we were gonna make some tweaks to it a little bit, but we uh, were mostly happy with it we can now remix it. So if you scroll up to the top of the page and you click remix post, we can repurpose this blog post into an X post, a Facebook post, a LinkedIn post, and an email newsletter. You can select all of them or just one of them. We're gonna select all of them and click repurpose blog post. All right, so that just took a couple of seconds and now we have repurposed our blog post into a bunch of different social media posts and email newsletter content. So here we go. Here are some of the X posts for us. Retro console games weren't made to hold your hand. No patches, no cutscenes, just skill timing and pixel perfect gameplay. Still hits in 2025. Here's why these games matter. Link to URL. Reselling retro games? Don't guess. Source smart. Titles from SNES, N64, and PS1 still move well, but only if you check the platform condition and edition. Get the edge here and a link to the URL. So some very cool X posts have been generated with the remixer. Some example Facebook posts. Remember pressing start and not needing a tutorial to figure it out? Very cool. You don't need luck to flip retro games. You need a playbook. 
So it's modifying our blog post and it's also fitting the customer avatars that we gave it as well. Some variations of LinkedIn posts and scroll down here and then email newsletter. So subject lines being offered for the email newsletter. We can copy these subjects to our clipboard, copy the preheaders and copy the body content as well. So the post remixer is a fantastic way to take that AI powered long form blog post content that you're creating for your client and then pushing it out via social media and email newsletter with this remixer tool. Okay, so we've got the long form blog post. We've also remixed it and we have a couple of social media posts and tweets and Facebook posts and email newsletters ready to go. Now we need to start scheduling. And one great way we can do that is by finding a social media scheduling SOP at ClickMinded. So if you log into the ClickMinded members area on the left-hand side, you can see under the execute section, this is where all this stuff lives. Our execute section is where all of our SOPs, templates, and prompts are. If I click the filter by tag here, I can filter all of our content based on the category, the platform, the use case, or the resource type. There's a ton of different options here. I could also manually scroll through all these options as well, but I'm just gonna come up to the search bar. So I'm just gonna do a quick search here for social calendar and see what we got. So there we go, SOP number 44, starting a social media calendar. That looks like a good fit, we'll open that one. Okay, so now we've opened up SOP number 44, starting a social media calendar. Now, if you're familiar with ClickMinded, you know how we work, you'll understand this section clearly, but if not, this is how we structure every SOP we have. We have export options in the top left, so you can either work on the SOP behind the ClickMinded login, or you can one-click export as a PDF, Google Doc, or .docx file. We also have project management integrations with Asana, Notion, ClickUp, Monday, and Trello. So if you use any of those project management tools, you can one-click export any of these SOPs or templates directly into your account. Every SOP starts with a goal, an ideal outcome, why it's important, where it's done, when it's done, and who does it, and then any prerequisites or requirements as well. As you complete the SOP and you check it off on the left-hand side, it will complete. There's a little progress bar as you go through and you can go in and fill this out as you see fit. This SOP has an associated template, template number 015. We link to it in the document there. So we're gonna open up that template now as well. So this is a template. Our templates have a slightly different format than the SOP. You can always find that every template that has an associated SOP, they're always internally linked. We have the ability to view the template here in the uh, behind the members login, but that's not really what it was utilized for. It was really utilized to export. All of our templates are best used when exported. So we're gonna export this template as a Google Sheet now and click make a copy. So here we have our social media calendar. We're defaulted to the uh, visualized view of the month here. So individual campaigns are listed on these date, new product launching, holiday slide share, holiday blog post. We have a key up here. These are just some defaults to give you an idea of how to visualize this. We're gonna switch over in the bottom to schedule. And as you can see, we have every day of the month and all of the potential campaign types we have. Marketing campaign, course, evergreen or right time campaign the topic or title of it, the content details, the social network. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here so it's easier to see. The social network, the post type, the content type, the copy, any assets associated with it, the link that should be associated with it, any shortened URL trackers, publishing time, and whether or not it's been approved by certain managers. So we can take some of that content from the post remixer, we can throw those into here, and we can start to create a comprehensive social media schedule for our AI long form blog post writing service. Okay, and so I just went back into the post remixer, grabbed one of the pieces of x.com slash Twitter content that was given to us. I just deleted all of the placeholder stuff and added it here. So on Monday, July 1st, we're running a marketing campaign. It's gonna be for the retro console games topic. Some details on the campaign, promoting the new long form blog post on the best retro console games. We're gonna be doing it on Twitter. It's a regular post. There's no asset type here. There's no uh, 
There's no additional photos or graphics that we're going to include. If we wanted to, we could go create one in Canva. I've copy and pasted the content from the post remixer into this tool. So that's listed out here. I have a placeholder URL here, so I should change that. There's no additional asset here. The link to the website URL is here, a shortened tracking link. We have a bit.ly link here. What time it will be published on that date, the managers who have approved it. And then once the link goes live, we can list it there. So that's it. That's a high level overview of how to create long form AI blog post content and sell it as a service to your current clients and prospective clients. Now I have a challenge for you. If you have a current client who's already purchased some services from you, or maybe there's a prospective client out there that wasn't quite sold on what you're already doing, consider using this service, doing a long form AI blog post for them. Maybe give them the first one for free. You can click the link down below to try this out right now. Thanks a lot.